Ugh, I can't believe they're still allowing people to use plastic grocery bags. We're going to totally destroy the environment. Is there any decision you won't make for everyone else? Go easy on her, man. Her husband's in jail. Bob, people can't just do whatever they want. At some point, we need to organize and act as a unit to conquer large problems. There are some common projects we want everyone on board with, sure. And it's good for us to want to be united under common values. But the problem is, people want a system where every decision is made for you. Where no one can do anything wrong because it isn't even an option. Exactly. Ah, utopianism. Even worse, it's a particular subset of utopianism that seeks to bring about the perfect world specifically through government regulation. Not community action or religious institutions or family units, just bureaucracy. And while few would admit that this is their goal, when you look at the way governments regulate and politicians lobby for new laws, the quest to create a more virtuous world only seems to allow for a single tool. The law, and particularly the federal law. Well, duh! That's how we enforce things! We need laws! Sure, some laws. But the kind of car you drive, the sort of bags you transport your groceries in, the water pressure in your home, whether or not you wear a mask or take a vaccine or the kind of light bulb you use, there's a moral quality to all these decisions, but at what point do we finally say something is too petty to regulate and that we're okay with people making small mistakes? Amen! That's not saying expertise isn't to be considered or that rules are pointless. To the contrary, I think the more litigious experts and regulators become, the more they undermine the rules that actually matter. Like an overbearing parent whose neurotic chastisements turn all warnings into white noise. When it comes to moment-to-moment -to -moment everyday decisions, it can often be unclear what the best thing to do is, even to the people most directly connected to the situation, let alone regulators thousands of miles away. And pretty much everyone knows that, but for some reason we're addicted to the idea that social change has to be a top-down government project, when the truth is most of the meaningful changes in our lives are a product of bottom-up grassroots organization. Well, at least the positive changes. Not everything needs to be systematized, and when it is, we undermine people's faith in the system for the things that it might actually be needed for. Common goals are good, right and wrong is real, and there are always going to be laws not everyone wants to follow. But the idea that a system is going to eliminate any and all possibility of people making bad decisions? Well, believing something like that would be a bad decision! Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational cartoons. We drop one every two weeks. Boy, oh boy, do we love doing it.